There are new questions tonight about the relationship between Hillary Clinton's team and a major defense contractor. Money changed hands, a lot of it. And now it is yet another per perceived impropriety the Democratic nominee must answer for. Chief Washington correspondent James Rosen has exclusive details in the story you'll only see right here on Fox. In early 2012, as Hillary Clinton embarked on her final year as Secretary of State, Raytheon, the leading defense contractor, yearned for a bigger slice of the action of foreign military sales. So the firm, according to federal lobbying records obtained by Fox News, hired three lobbyists, among them Heather Podesta, whose brother-in-law at the time was John Podesta, now famous as Hillary Clinton's campaign manager and the subject of daily WikiLeaks revelations. In 2012, John Podesta held the title of senior advisor at the Department of State. Records show Raytheon also hired two lobbyists at the powerhouse D.C. firm DLA Piper. All three lobbyists were big-time donors or bundlers for Hillary Clinton in 2008 and 2016. Between them, they've raised hundreds of thousands for Clinton's campaigns and earned hundreds of thousands lobbying her on Raytheon's behalf. Everything I did as Secretary of State was in furtherance of uh uh, our country's interests and our values. Approving foreign military sales at the time was Assistant Secretary of State Andrew Shapiro, whose previous job had been as an advisor in Clinton's Senate office. Shapiro now resides at Beacon, the consulting firm he co-founded with Clinton press aide Philippe Rhinus. While there's one person who has, you know, final sign-off, that one person can't do it without a whole body of evidence and analysis and review and interagency uh, uh, consensus before they get to that point. In the end, Raytheon's gambit worked, as the firm in 2012 snagged at least 17 foreign military sales contracts worth $26 billion, including three for sales of advanced weapon systems to Qatar that alone accounted for $19 billion. An email from a Clinton Foundation official published in the 6th of WikiLeaks releases from the John Podesta archive shows that the year before, Cutter had pledged one million to the Clinton Foundation to mark Bill Clinton's birthday, seeking in return a five-minute meeting with him. <laughs> After Clinton stepped down as Secretary of State, Raytheon appears to have discontinued its lobbying relationship with Heather Podesta and stopped using DLA Piper to lobby its state. The appearance is akin to one of those pop-up stores that materializes just to sell Halloween candy or July 4th fireworks for a seasonal need, and after that seasonal need has been met, vanishes. The only considerations that are factored into the foreign military sales program is the furtherance of foreign policy uh, objectives of the United States of America and not uh, the efforts by external groups uh, to lobby, as you say, or to influence that decision. The Republican National Committee said the lobbying effort undercuts denials from the Clinton campaign that there was no pay-to-play culture at the Clinton State Department. The people that sought access and had uh, and stood to gain from access to the State Department didn't agree, and that's why they made these hires. These lobbyists that were hired, their experience was getting access to Hillary Clinton and raising money for her. The Clinton campaign told me Mrs. Clinton, quote, never took action as Secretary of State because of any donations, and any suggestion to the contrary is false. Raytheon told me its lobbying practices and policies are fully disclosed and comply with all federal, state, and local laws. DLA Piper did not respond to a request for comment. Heather Podesta sent me a one-sentence email saying, I never lobbied the secretary or John Podesta on this matter. Brett? James, thank you.